Welcome to HB Stormrunner Load. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create scripts with HP Virtual User Generator. HP Virtual User Generator, or ViewGen for short, is a powerful IDE for creating virtual user scripts. In Stormrunner, ViewGen can be used for creating web, HTTP, HTML scripts. Web HTTP HTML scripts allow simulating many web clients by simulating HTTP traffic without actually rendering the client UI. You can download ViewGen from hp.com forward slash go forward slash loadrunner. After downloading and installing ViewGen, start the application and create a new script. From the protocol section dialog, choose Web HTTP HTML to create a new web script. Click the record button. Enter the URL for your application and click Start Recording. Perform a simple business process and click Stop Recording. Notice that each HTTP request is recorded as a step in the created script. To measure the performance of our application, let's add a transaction. A transaction wraps part of the business process, enabling Stormrunner to measure the time it took to perform this business process. Add an LR start transaction step at the start of the script. Give the transaction a meaningful name. Add an LRN transaction at the end of the script. Once the script is added to a load test, the business process will be simulated iteratively. Each time the transaction is performed, the duration and pass-fail status of the transaction will be reported. It is considered best practice to add pacing, simulating a real user taking a few seconds between iterative executions of the same business process. Add an LR think time step to the end of the script with the think time parameter set to 5 seconds. Save the script and give it a meaningful name. Use the ViewGen Save as Zip option to save the script in zip format. The script can now be added to a load test in which the business process will be performed and the transaction response time will be measured. And that's it! Creating a script with HP ViewGen is as easy as 123. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment on the YouTube page for this video. For more helpful tutorials, visit our YouTube channel.